Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be working on this skeleton onesie that I made for myself. This was my first time using holographic HTV and let me just say I feel it went really well. I got this onesie from Amazon about a year ago and it's just been sitting in my closet so it was time to do something and this can actually work as a costume as well for the spooky season. So if you guys are ready to see how I made it, please keep watching and let's get started. To get the skeleton stencil, I went over to Google and here I typed in skeleton clip art and I just went over to images. Here on Google, I'm just looking for a skeleton that's not that cartoonish, more realistic, kind of like this. And right here, I'm just going to click on it because I can see that the background's removed, so I just want to download it over to my computer. Once your file is saved, we're just going to go over to Cricut Design Space and open up a new project. Now heading over to Uploads, we're just going to upload the clip art we just saved. And we can see here, like I said, the background's already removed, so all we have to do is apply continue and save as a cut image. Now that our image is uploaded, we're just going to add it to our canvas. And I cannot cut a 5 foot skeleton with my Cricut and so in order to do this, we're going to have to break it up with our contour feature. Kind of like when we're layering our images here, I'm just going to be selecting pieces at a time in order to split them up. And so by sectioning these pieces out, everything is going to be in separate pieces so instead of one giant skeleton, we're going to have a bunch of smaller pieces that are going to fit in our Cricut. And so all I'm doing is just duplicating and I do like to place it on top of my previous image. That way I can see exactly what I'm clicking on. And so I'm just going to continue doing these same steps until I have my full skeleton in separate layers. So I don't need the hands, the arm, or the face, but I think I am done with all of my other pieces. Now I'm just going through and making sure that I have what I need and everything is in its separate layer. And now I'm just going to save my project. When I measured out my onesie, the arms were about 20 inches, the legs were 30 inches, the waist was 12 inches, and the torso was about 14 inches. And so now on Cricut Design Space, we're just going to be sizing out our bones. To measure your pieces, select both our leg pieces. And remember that was going to be 30 inches. We just need to get as close to that as possible. But just make sure that when you're trying to increase the size, you're selecting your whole image and increasing the size together. Same for the arm pieces. We need those to be around 20 inches. And so once you're done sizing, we can go over to make it. Here we can see all our pieces and it is asking us to use a 12 by 24 mat. I like to rearrange my pieces just to make sure that I get the most out of my vinyl and make sure you are mirroring this project since we are doing HTV. And once you're done arranging your mats, we can move on to cut. Here I'll be cutting under holographic settings and more pressure. I don't have a large mat, so I did just tape two of my smaller mats together. I'm hoping this is going to work, but OLC. This is the vinyl I'll be using. I got it from Amazon also about a year ago, and it's just been sitting there ready to be used. Make sure to always place your HTV vinyl shiny face down, and I do like to use tape just to make sure it doesn't move. And now we just load up our mat and we can start cutting. Here we have our first cut and so I'm just going to be unloading it from my Cricut and just repeating the same steps. I did see a hack where you place a ruler inside this little slot to help you hold your mat. 
And let me just say, I think it worked really well. You can see here, it's just holding my mat. And I did put two bobby pins to just hold the roll and not fall off. And now I'm just going to continue cutting all my pieces. Here I have all my pieces cut and now I'm just going to begin weeding them out. Once you're done weeding, we're just going to take some scissors and cut out each piece. Here is what the original onesie looked like and you can see here it has a zipper as well as this waist belt and it is just in plain black. And now I'll be placing all of my pieces right on top of my onesie just to give me a better idea of what it's going to look like. I did have my computer on and I was just looking at my screen trying to get these pieces back together. And so after placing all of my pieces down, um, this looks pretty good so now I'm ready to press. My heat press is only 10 by 12 so it's very small and I'm just going to be doing this by sections. These pieces go on top of the zipper so I'm just going to be cutting them in half to avoid that. And so once you have both pieces we're just going to place them on either side of the zipper. Just like that. I like to take my mat and place it under so it doesn't move too much but now we're going to press at 320 degrees for 14 seconds. These are warm peels, so make sure you let your vinyl cool down a little bit before peeling off the backing. And so now we're just basically going to be repeating the same steps. So I'm going to keep cutting where I need to and then just pressing everything down. So this is what the fabric looks like after one press but you can see here after a second press you can see more of the fabric's texture and that's what we want because we don't want this peeling. And so what I like to do is just give it a second press about 5 seconds is good. And we can see here how the texture changes and now your vinyl is going to last for a very long time. I love onesies. I'm so happy I finally have a skeleton one and it's holographic so the colors look really cool. You can also do this on a t-shirt and pants if you don't have a onesie but you can see here it's really easy to make a quick fun spooky costume. And so I hope you guys enjoyed my video and found it helpful. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share and also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work and thank you so much for watching.